All right, so in this quick video, we're going to talk about how to remove Microsoft 365 from an iPhone in 2025. Now, this is assuming that you added the Microsoft 365 account to the standard mail app on the iPhone. If you did this in Outlook, the process is different. Um, if you used the Outlook app on iPhone. This is for if you added it as a standard mail account on the iPhone. Okay? So to remove this, you want to start by going into Settings right here. It's this gray gear icon, like so. Okay? Once you do that, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It, it may It's quite a long list here of settings. You want to go all the way to the bottom, and you want to tap on Apps. Once you do that, you're going to have a very long list of apps most people have. They're in alphabetical order, and you're looking for the middle of the alphabet, the, the letter M, for the app called Mail. So when you find that in the list, just tap on that. And you're going to be brought to a screen that looks a lot like this. So what you're going to want to do is tap on this right here that says Mail Accounts. Your number may vary but you'll tap on Mail Accounts, and that's going to bring you to a list of any email accounts that you have in the native mail app on the iPhone. And the one you're looking for is, well, your Microsoft 365, the one for work. That This is assuming that that's what your intent is here, is to remove that from your phone. Okay, so when you find that, hopefully you've labeled it with some kind of a description that makes it easy to identify. You're going to tap on that. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Sometimes you have to actually scroll. Sometimes it's visible right there on the screen. But you're looking for this red Delete Account button. Now, this is an irreversible process. Do I need to, to mention that? This is, this is you, you, you'd have to set this up again from scratch. So make sure that you actually know that you're supposed to do this before you do it. All right. So when you tap on Delete Account, it's going to have you prompt one more time and say it's going to remove any of these data types here that were associated with that account. This can scare people sometimes because it sounds like it's going to remove all your calendars and all your contacts. And the answer to that, if you're asking, is that true? Is that going to happen? The answer is a very firm maybe. Maybe. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of which of your appointments or contacts are associated with the company data file versus your own data file on the iPhone or data files that are associated with other email accounts. So this is something to, to have an appropriate level of caution about. If you're concerned about that, you just you want to you want to be careful. And I don't have a quick solution for you on how to remedy that. I just am calling your attention that this may remove stuff you want removed. You got to be a little bit careful, okay? If you're not sure how to navigate that, I would recommend talking to your IT person and, uh, you know, figure out a way to maybe back up that information before you go removing the account, okay? So when you're sure that it's what you want to do, then you tap on this delete from my iPhone. And that's that. At that point, it will then be gone from your phone. So that is that tutorial. Have a great day.